quick quiz for you. Where do you want to go if you like to wear baggy pants and use phrases like thee and thine a lot? For Renaissance Fair, of course. And here's LXTV's Ben Aaron with Thy Entertainment. Many of us remember learning about the Renaissance in high school or college. But for those of you who don't, here's a brief history. From the 14th to the 17th century, countries across Europe saw a rebirth of art, culture, and education. Philosophers began philosophizing while great painters and playwrights dusted off their quills and began to create. Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and Michelangelo's Naked Guy with confused look. But how? How did the cultural movement created in Europe make its way all the way to the woods of Tuxedo Park, New York? I was on my way to finding out. Everybody's got like a theme to their outfit. What's your theme? This is only costume. This is just stuff I can wear. All the time? If I could, yes. You're like the medieval Rick James. All right, so let me guess, let me guess. Robin Hood. Jeff Bridges. Dig the outfit. Oh, thank thee very much, sir. I'm noticing that the MC Hammer pant is very popular. So if I were to woo a maiden, what would I say to her? I might say, thine eyes are as deep as the most limpid pools. Limpid pool, limpid pool. Limpid pools always works, I think. These are the dragon ships. Deep fried and delicious. Did cholesterol exist in the time of the Renaissance? Oh no, my lord. This is like the thing to do. Now these are heavy, believe it or not, it's probably about two pounds worth of turkey legs. That's a whole lot of turkey. Maureen, are you gonna take the first bite? I certainly am. I want a good one, I don't want like a wussy. Wait all year for the so the question still remains, could I live in the Renaissance? Perhaps, but I'm taking my friends with me. Ladies, shall we? <laughs>